Hey YouTube, it is your girl Shalee Speaks. I was coming on here to give y'all a um, laser hair removal update. Um, and because I got it in one of my comments on the last video, my Instagram is simply Shalee Speaks. Um, you can find me on there. Um, so anyway, and I know I have not been doing these updates a lot and I really do apologize. Um, I don't even know what number treatment I'm on. I almost think I'm on like treatment 12. I think I know it's supposed to last for 18 months basically but I believe that I'm on treatment 12 um, so from last month I go every four weeks so from the last four weeks to I went yesterday um, I had just a little bit of peach fuzz growing right here and had to shave that off before you go in for the laser hair removal um, everything's still been going fine I haven't had growth back here or anything like that um, and I switched back to using Specific Beauty to take away the, um, dark marks and all that. Um, I actually just switched up some of the stuff from my next shipment that comes out so that I can get some more advanced dark spot corrector. I've also been having skin issues because I had half of my thyroid removed. Um, if you've ever watched one of those thyroid videos that I posted, that scar looks good, like, can't even see it anymore and it was really ugly in the beginning um and so that was the funny thing because of me having um half of my thyroid removed I have numbness in my chin area so the numbness is kind of starting to wear off I had it done in December so um now I can actually kind of feel some of the laser hair removal again and I had not been able to feel it for months because when they cut you naturally they cut nerves and um so yeah because of that I literally just I hadn't been able to really feel it but I can say I could feel it yesterday it's still a little numb down there but I can still feel a majority of it but anyway just wanted to let y'all know that the laser hair removal is going pretty good like I said I had a little bit of peach fuzz and that was really about it. Other than that, that's really it. I go back in four weeks. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of want to give y'all a really quick update. I don't want this to be longer, long-winded. Um, and I, just because I'm kind of sketchy right about now, I just got a lot going on. I don't want to say sketchy like I got something crazy going on. It's just I have a lot going on right now. Um, so, if I miss an update for... Um, laser hair removal I do apologize um just you know if you don't see one and you can kind of tell the dates are a little spacey just post a comment or something and say hey how's it going and I can I'll post a video real quick or something for y'all um so yeah that's <laughs> that's really about it um so yeah um that's just how the laser hair removal has been going it's been going pretty good um a little bit of peach fuzz here and there nothing major um i'm back to being able to feel it because some of the numbness and i think my nerves are kind of starting to go back together from my thyroidectomy um and yeah that is it so if you have any questions please feel free to ask oh one thing I, i'll explain the procedure to you real quick i'm just trying to think of a way to get it to at least four or five minutes um so basically it's this laser light and they have a fan on it as well that cools so while it it like pricks at your face almost that's what it kind of feels like to me but i think it's just the laser hitting and it has a cool fan as well so as they're hitting it you can hear it click but then you also feel the cold air and so some of them each tech is different some techs will sit there and take it spot 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 some will start it here and just hold the button so you'll just hear it go and they'll just slide it down and you know and so some would take it and like she really holds it right here just in that little sideburn area so she'll sit there and she might hold it there for about three or four clicks and after that she just kind of takes it and she'll just click it slide it down um then i have to do that so they can get the upper lip and around the mouth um a couple of them actually will even do like nose hairs inside your nostrils um it just depends on who it is and then they go back to here and so, pretty much from here, 
basically all the way down is the area that they hit um, for the laser hair removal community that is considered to be a large area um, and then after they're done I use restorative gel um, you always shave the day of laser hair removal so that if there is any hair follicles they can actually get inside of it with the light to burn out the hair follicle um, and do not apply any moisturizer to your face just simply wash it before you go that's it um, and then you reply you apply the restorative gel on your face when it's done um, so thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and again you can always leave any comments or questions down below and my Instagram is simply Shalise Speaks bye